Well, welcome back one more time, Manny University. I'm Jeff Christensen again, and today we're talking about the fourth harbor light of knowing the will of God. We refer to this fourth harbor light as the way of peace. So what does that mean? What is the way of peace? Probably the best way to think of this is the inner leading of the Holy Spirit. This is when the Holy Spirit gives you peace to go down a particular path. So for instance, you've, you're facing a decision, right? A choice between a few different directions or a few different options. As you look down the path of the first option, you, you look down that path in your mind's eye and you're just not sure, right? You, and then you look down the, the path of the second option. And again, yeah, you know, you're just, you're just not sure. But then you look down that third path, that third option, and you can see it. You have a sense of anticipation for it, and something about it seems to just click internally, and there's peace. You have a sense of peace. Psalm 32, eight says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. So the way of peace is something that we need to pay attention to. Now, as with most things, there's a really big qualifier here. The fourth harbor light is the most subjective one, if that makes sense. It, it's hard to objectively qualify. See, with scripture, that's objective, right? It's not something that you question. If, if it says do this, you do that, and that's all there is to it. With godly counsel, it's, it's also pretty objective. You've asked seven people who you trust to give input on a decision, and all seven of them come back with the same counsel. That's pretty clear. With circumstances, they can be neutral, but often they point positively or negatively in a particular direction. With the way of peace, though, this can be easier to mix up with personal preferences. In other words, you don't get to choose something just uh, because you want it and then claim that the, the fact that you want it means that God was telling you to choose that. That's abusing the God told me justification and using it as a, a trump card so that you can ignore what everyone else says and what all the other harbor lights say. So how do we do this the right way? Here's the deal. If you are genuinely seeking in scripture, and you are genuinely inviting godly counsel and are genuinely being prudent with your circumstances, then and only then should you pay attention to the way of peace. Generally speaking, the first three harbor lights need to line up before you take the way of peace into account, generally speaking. In other words, you can't ignore scripture, ignore godly counsel, and ignore your circumstances, and then say, well, I have peace about this, so the Holy Spirit must be speaking to me. That's mostly, that's a mistake. Make sure that the, the first three harbor lights are lining up. I've enjoyed being with you this month, Mana University. Join us each week for more Mana U moments. Bless you.